Hello YouTube people and you my crafty friends out there. My name is Terry Day. I am a brand new YouTuber. I'm also a brand new diamond painter. I started diamond painting about a month and a half ago and just doing it for fun and have enjoyed the craft. Uh, the name of my channel here is Terry Day Diamond Painting and Whatnots. You may ask why I added the whatnots. Well, because you just don't know what may happen on my channel. I have several interests and I don't want to just limit it to diamond painting. Uh, that would be my primary focus. However, there will be other things that make a cameo performance in my YouTube channel. Anyway, if any of y'all are out there looking and watching this, I want to say thank you. If you would like to subscribe, I'll know where that button is. <laughs> A lot of big ask for my first YouTube video, isn't it? Anyway, I just wanted to stop in and say hi, introduce myself, just let you know that I'm coming out to the community. I have watched so many YouTube influencers and have loved each and every one of them. I'm not going to do a shout out at the moment because I don't want to miss anybody, to be quite honest. But um, I've, I've learned a lot, and as I get more comfortable behind the camera, uh, it is going to be a lot of the hand shots, but uh, I did want you to see my face from my first video. Anyway, I'm going to pause you right now, and really the only thing I'm going to do today is to show you a couple little uh, finished projects that I've done. It's uh, just a couple small things, nothing big, but I enjoy you watching and I uh, appreciate it. I'm going to put you on pause, and I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. I do want to apologize for looking at the window a couple times during that last section of the video. I did have a vehicle that kept on going by the house and slowing down. Um, we live on a no outlet street, so I was just keeping my eye out on that. Everything was fine, no big deal. But I did want to share with y'all a couple little projects that I did. And this one is a journal. And it is from Craftably. It is the Fleur de Lis. And it came in seven different colors. Uh, at the time that I purchased this, it was $14.99. However, the last time that I checked, it was currently out of stock. But I will leave all the information down below in the description of where I got it. And I, I, I did really enjoy working on this. It was nice little snack size. Um, it did take me about three hours to complete. I am not the fastest diamond painter by any means of the imagination. Um, I, I am newer at the craft. I'm sure over time I'll get faster, but quite honestly, speed is not really my goal. My goal is to enjoy the process and be immersed in the process and have fun. If you're not having fun, then... You know, what, what's the point of actually doing it? Um, so, anyway, over time, with technique, I'm going to get better at it. There's no doubt about it. But this thing has just some spectacular shine to it. I hope that you can see that. I am beginning to lose my light a little bit. I did turn on my overhead light. And hopefully you can see that sparkle. It has some beautiful drills all throughout here these are round top gold beads and next to that is a turquoise little drill turquoise or aquamarine i love that color we also have some white ab's surrounding here and also out here towards the edges this on the website it says it's pink but i really think that my eyes are seeing it as a purple, but it is beautiful how it cast off the different colors. It does have that iridescent coating on it. And then these beautiful seed-shaped beads. Again, they're clear, but they do have that iridescent coating. And the way they're faceted, they just cast off so many different colors. All through here, these drills are gold foiled on the top. I had plenty of everything. 
I'm going to show you the extra drills that I had. And I know during this, I've called them drills, beads, you know, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't really matter. Diamonds, you know what I'm talking about. And I mean, look at this big, beautiful blue stone in the middle. Um, I do not have any of the gold non-faceted beads to show you. I was being really picky at first with them and I did trash a lot of them. And retrospectively, uh, there probably was nothing wrong with them. I thought that there was some flashing on the, the sides of them, but it looks like honestly they all had that. So I believe that, you know, due to my lack of experience that it was probably supposed to be there. So anyway, I, it is a journal. I would call it a notebook, but just because it's lined. But it does have a section for your memos, and it has a date section over here. And what I was thinking about doing with it is maybe using this to inventory some of my diamond paintings that I do have. Um, I don't have a huge stash. I do have um, quite a few of the special dr uh, shape drills kits, and I'll show those later on. But right now, I do want to show you some of the extras that I have. I hope that you can see this. I'm going to flip this around and show it on the back. Maybe you can get the uh, contrast of it a little better. Being on the black background. Uh, maybe not. As I said, I, this is all a learning process for me. But this is the Seed Shape Clear Iridescent Drill. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. But, you know, learning curve. It is what it is. These are the white ABs. The beautiful turquoise color, aquamarine. I love, love, love that color. These are the gold faceted beads that has the gold foil on top rather than on the bottom. And these are the purple or the pink beads. And as you can, well, I'm hoping you can see how it's just casting off all those different colors off of it. But anyway, so that is that. I truly enjoyed it. Uh, it only came with one of the, uh, the center beads, but you know, that's all you needed. So for the next little snack size project that I have, I had purchased this one from New Homie and I paid $3.99. This is a crystal drill. This is a partial. There wasn't a whole lot of diamond filled to actually diamond paint, but nonetheless, I thought it was cute and I had, I had a good time doing it. Um, this is called Coffee Time and it came with five five different colors and you can see where the drill area is it's just the black area here and these little clear beads the red around the entire border the black and the diamonds here um, it only took me about 45 minutes to do this maybe even less than that I'm going to show you the extra drills that I had with this kit as well. And I tell you what, they gave you enough drills that you could have done this three or four or five different times over again. This is a nice sun, uh, the ruby red. And this is what I did. I, I just took them out of the um, package that they came in and put them in Ziploc baggies. This is how I'm going to store them anyway. So this was the, the code on the kit. And I'll, I'll just end up throwing these into the storage. I don't like working out of the, the bags that they're packaged in. Um, I have some dexterity problems and just folding it down, taping it, unfolding it. Anyway, that just kind of gets on the nerve. So I put them in the, the clear plastic bags. These are the clear drills. Again, as you can see, I mean, I had absolutely plenty. Looks like we have a couple little hitchhikers in this one, but that's all right. We can visit our neighbors, right? Well, maybe not right now, but 
Hopefully in time we can again. This is another red. So there was two different reds in this kit. They, uh, one of them is just slightly darker and richer than the next. Again, as you can tell, plenty gold with the silver bottom, uh, bottoms. Again, absolutely plenty of them. And then we also had the black drills. Now, I do not believe that these are the same three tins that come in regular diamond painting kits. I, I think that they do have a different facet to the top of them. Um, maybe somebody else can confirm, but they look just a little bit different to me. So if you're interested in this kit, I will also leave the link to that down below. I'll turn this back over for you can take a look. I hope you can see all that beautiful sparkle. You may not be able to due to my lighting right now. But again, I had fun. Snack size, quick accomplishment. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. Again, if you're still watching, I really do appreciate it. Um, this is my first YouTube video, as I said earlier. Um, if you would like to see more of my videos, please uh, subscribe and click on the bell to be notified of any time that I post a video. Then there will be more to come. But at this time, I am going to go ahead and say goodbye. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And number one, please, please try to be kind to one another. Everybody's going through a hard time. People are going through issues that nobody knows about. Um, j just try to do one kind thing a day for somebody. If that's, you know, just a simple smile or opening the door for somebody. Um, there, there's kindness in the world to be given. And I think that's super important. So... With that, I will see you next time.